Well, good morning again. I'm Ellis Arnold, class of 1979, and Executive Vice President and Dean of Advancement. It's my pleasure to welcome you again to uh, this morning's award ceremony. This is a day that the college looks forward to each year. We recognize our classmates and others who have distinguished themselves through their professions and their service. We take great pride in their accomplishments and we're honored to count them as members of the Hendricks family. I'd like to take a moment to recognize other members of the Hendricks community. First of the senior leadership team we have with us this morning, Frank Cox, is our Executive Vice President and Chief uh, Communications Officer. Um, Karen Fowles, who's Executive Vice President of Strategic Planning and Enrollment. Uh, Wayne Clark, you met a moment ago, is chaplain of the college. A number of our senior staff members uh, were here yesterday for the events on campus, and we're thankful for their, their leadership and service. I'd also like to recognize our current and uh, former uh, faculty members who are here. And if you would, please stand so we can recognize you and raise your hand, current and former faculty. Go inside of it and 
Uh, I didn't realize at that time that one of the graduates of this institution uh, was the person who was the chief engineer for the shuttle uh, uh, mission and actually figured out how to uh, connect the shuttle to, I think it was the 747 or 727 or one of those huge jets, you know, that they, they, they pair up with the shuttle. You know, how do you do that? And how does that happen? And how do you get that up in, in the outer space? Well, the man can tell us how to do that. <laughs> you can get us a little, little uh, primer on, you know, uh, astrophysics or whatever it is. Or that. But it's amazing. And, you know, it's not just uh, in the areas of science, because we have some um, amazing um, representatives of the scientific community here, not only a uh, board member uh, from Cleveland Clinic, who's uh, uh, done world-class research uh, in ophthalmology. We've got, uh, we're recognizing here another physician who's a leader in her field and, and who's been um, uh, an exemplar uh, for what Hendricks, uh, what Hendricks is able to do uh, with great talent. And uh, we've got representatives from her department here uh, that she graduated from and worked with her. And, um, and it's the faculty here uh, and their engagement with students and their love and their care for students that's transformed it. But it's not just the faculty. I was uh, commenting with the dining services staff today uh, as I went through the line. And this is a very busy weekend for, for them. They put on quite a uh, a lot of dinners and lunches, and and they do it with such love and care. And it's that 24-hour-a-day, uh, seven-day-a-week experience, both inside the classroom and outside the classroom, that uh, makes this place special. And um, the, our students, we know our students learn both in the formal context of the classroom and the curriculum, but they learn through the informal conversations with faculty. They learn on the bench, in the lab, they learn out in the field. And you know, um, for the last 16 years up here, uh, uh, when Young got up here, whether that was uh, during the Odyssey Medal Awards ceremonies or whether that's during this ceremony, uh, it's, it's always wonderful to see that Hendricks does not just define uh, success in terms of power or money. Not that those are bad things, but Hendricks defines success in the form, in many, many forms, uh, in the form of service to the world, in the forms of uh, the way in which uh, people live good lives, uh, living well, and being able to touch the lives of others. Uh, we recognize that kind of service, we recognize that kind of achievement, and the importance of it, whether uh, it's in, uh, no matter what field it's in. And so, that's a wonderful thing to see as well. So I just want to say that um, we all ought to be proud and um, take uh, a great sense of um, meaning uh, from the fact that this institution, uh, which is now 1,400 students, 1,470 something this year, but <clears throat> Back when I got here, there was just a thousand students, and then I imagine many of you remember when it was, uh, Eloise and you know, Mr. Rain probably remember when it was, what, 600 students, or uh, 500 students. And we think, I mean, this, this is an institution that's produced uh, the person who's worked on and helped to invent the vaccine for rubella. I mean, and it goes all the way back uh, in this tradition and the excellence of our, of our graduates and alums. And I, I just want to say that it's a pleasure and a privilege to work in a place like this. And uh, thank you for being here and uh, take great heart that this is a place that transforms lives that then transform the world. So, welcome.